Stan Jibalisco here with a little report and a little trick that I just learned or made up. I don't know if this has ever been done. I've never seen it done. But what you're looking at is the screen of a Microsoft Surface Pro 2, which I acquired for the specific purpose of producing videos using two programs. One of them called Windows Journal, which you now see before you right here. And using a stylus pen, I can write on the screen. For example, my website, sciencewriter.net. Well, what I'm getting at here is with this stylus, according to the reviews or the specifications with Microsoft, when you use the stylus you, and you lay part of your hand down somewhere else on the screen, the screen will recognize the stylus and reject this capacitance involving the rest of your hand. But I found that not to be altogether true so I moved the taskbar up to the top of the screen. It normally was on the bottom and my hand would hit these buttons and actuate some of them when I didn't want to do that. Well, I've also found that even when I did this, my hand would sometimes cause weird things to happen with the stylus. I might make a mark up here now I got a select pen. I might want to write here and then put a line here. That line would mysteriously appear down there. And I thought the only reason that could happen is because of the capacitance between the heel of my hand here and the screen. This is how this system evidently works is by capacitance from your body through the stylus and there's a sort of an electromagnetic field sensor of some sort. A very precision proximity sensor or presence sensor is how that works. Well that's all well and good but I have found that it's very distracting to make videos particularly if I'm writing equations on here like I want to write x squared plus y squared equals z squared or to make a very fine schematic diagram for example something like this diode resistor and a battery or DC source I want to make uh, drawings like that and I want to make them very fine and very precise so I can use the Camtasia screen capture program and when I launch that this is what it looks like it provides me with a work frame, you see that? Uh, 1280 pixels wide by 720 high, that's high definition. That's what I would use there. Well, all well and good so far, but the, except for this problem, this artifact with the heel of my hand. So I thought, I gotta figure out a way to get rid of that, so here's what I did. I took an ordinary work glove, $4.99 a pair. I threw away the left-hand glove because it isn't going to be any use as a companion to this thing. I'm right-handed. And I cut the thumb, the index finger, and the ring finger down so that when I put my hand in that glove, this is what I get. Only these three fingers are exposed, and they are the three with which I grip this stylus. Now I've got capacitance through this stylus, but not through the rest of my hand. This glove gets in the way sufficiently so that, for example, if I try to draw with this finger on the screen through that glove, I'm not going to get anything. But if I do it with this finger, I will. You see what I'm saying? So now I can lay my hand down on this screen like that and the heel of my hand isn't going to interfere with what the stylus does. Now that doesn't happen very often, but the prospect that it might is extremely distracting and annoying and it affects the way that I can write 
on this screen. Now right now I have the keyboard folded out. It's out of sight below the screen. You can't see it. But what I ordinarily do when I want to make videos is I rather than detaching that keyboard I simply fold it back like that so that it's underneath and upside down and it doesn't seem to actuate. Now I don't have to worry about my hand accidentally actuating that keyboard either. So now I can write to my heart's content and these two little fingers here I don't have to worry about them either. I don't have to worry about any of my fingers or any other part of my body having anything to do with this screen. Only the stylus. Now I can write to my heart's content. X squared plus Y squared equals E squared without that psychological block. The integral from A to B of F of X dx. Now I've just got to learn how to use things like this highlighter. I have the eraser here set to erase a stroke so I can just pop the whole highlight out of there like that. It, it's more like a real blackboard eraser except more aggressive but sometimes it's a little much. It, it's, kind of a, it's kind of a learning curve for me. I've set this medium point purple color and now I can scribble now it's just a matter of learning how to write in a way that isn't particularly natural for anyone who's used to real paper and real pens. Well, 6 volts DC, 470 ohms, there's your diode. There is your plus, there is your minus. This diode's going to conduct electrons like that, but the 470 ohm resistor will keep that diode from burning out, and also is the resistor isn't likely to burn out either. I'm getting now into a technical discussion that this is the kind of videos that I do, and then I'll say, okay, well, you know, I'm going to highlight this now. Electrons will flow like that. The problem now is that with stroke erase, sometimes... Well, it didn't happen that time, but sometimes I pop out some of the writing. It's all a learning curve, but this is the trick, and this is a trick I'd like you to come away from this video with. If you have issues, like I've been having, with tablet PCs and writing with a stylus on them, particularly if you're making lectures and things like that, take a glove, an ordinary work glove, this is just a cloth glove, and it's got those little plastic beads or thingies on them. It's not too thick. You don't want it to be too thick. And you don't want to take a really expensive glove and mutilate it like that. I mean, who knows? You might need it in cold weather. Leave plenty of your fingers exposed so you've got some dexterity. But leave these two fingers, the pinky and the fourth finger there, or whatever you call that thing. That's the ring finger, right? Or is it? It's been so long. Uh, I've never, since I've worn any jewelry, it's been so long. But anyway, uh, that's the trick I'd like you to come away with. See now? I don't have to worry about this at all. Stan Gibalisco. One less worry in my life. Stan Gibalisco, signing off. Until next time. So long.